First thing we're going to talk about is their soybean yields over the years, how they've improved them, uh, how they kind of stand versus the county and the state average. They started using yield monitor technology in 1998, uh, which in terms of yield monitors, that's very early in the game stage. Um, so where we've got a lot of this data is from their yield monitor history, uh, but also backtracking it over uh, scale tickets and, and farm records. So we've got their soybean yield data from 1998 uh, to last fall 2013. And 14 out of the 16 years, uh, they've been above the Spencer County uh, soybean yield average. Um, and nine out of the 16 years, they've been above the state soybean yield average. Yeah, from 98 until um, 2008, here we were running a uh, just your standard seven and a half inch bean drill. And it, um, we noticed switching to primary uh, no-till on our type soils has had increased our yield. But then it kind of seemed like we hit a, a plateau here and weren't uh, gaining. In 2008, we switched to the Kinsey 15 inch bean planter. And the f one of the things that we've noticed switching to it is we were able to uh, actually lower our population down to, uh, we plant most of our acres in around 150,000 seeds per acre now. Just a combination of better seed placement, the depth, on a planter is just so much more controlled than what the old uh, like tie drill that we were running. In 2010, uh, Pioneer uh, Lindar was able to uh, get the seed treatment and uh, facility. And since then, we've been running the full treatment on all of our uh, soybeans. And that has made a huge difference on getting the beans out of the ground in no-till conditions. We've had struggled some in the past on heavy residue and no-till, you know, the beans not wanting to uh, come up as well and since we have switched to the uh, seed treatment it is it's made a considerable difference